How's it going guys? Sherbox here. So today's accessory video is all about ticks items coming back. So I guess if you didn't get the chance to purchase a ticks themed item during the 2016 ticks a palooza sale, well I guess now is your chance because it seems some UGC creators are finally able to upload tickets themed accessories. I know that sounds kind of weird because they're not really allowed to do this. Roblox created a rule as soon as the UGC program opens and so they pretty much said you're not allowed to use any like official Roblox logos or ideas when you actually create an accessory. That includes the Robux logo, the Tix logo, maybe some of the classic Roblox items as well like noob faces or whatever. The QA team for the UGC program is kind of strange because they allow some items but not others, even if some of those items break the rules. Yeah, I don't really understand it. But anyway, let's check out this Tickets item. So here it is. It's called the Tix Head Made by Main Apparel. It's only 50 Robux, so it's pretty cheap. It's kind of cool. Basically, Basically what it is guys is the ticks pattern across a head and obviously when you wear this on your avatar it looks like your avatar is made of tickets. So yeah interesting for sure and I'm kind of surprised Roblox allowed this but if you want to purchase it for 50 Robux I don't think it'll get deleted so yeah go ahead I guess. It also turns out this is the first ticks accessory in a very long time. I know we had this one a year ago the special edition ticks cap but apart from that I'm pretty sure all of the other stuff was from like 2016 literally when ticks tickets got removed. I found the guy that made it, it turns out he's been making some Robux themed items as well. He made floating money, well it's pretty much like floating Robux. You know what, I like that. It really looks like a gift card item. I'm so surprised that this guy was allowed to upload this as a UGC thing, considering it's not actually like an official Roblox thing, right? But yeah, for 70 Robux, or 52 if you have premium, I'm gonna go and buy this one, it's pretty cool. Now honestly, when I was doing the research for this video, it kind of took a weird turn. I was trying to see if any other UGC creators were planning on uploading ticks accessories and it turns out another guy actually was. Now in this part of the video guys I'm going to be highlighting how messed up and inconsistent the UGC quality assurance is. I knew it was bad before with people stealing my trash mask and that whole stupid situation but it's actually even worse now. Yeah you've got to take a look at this. Now this one is by 4SBY who was actually making some more tickets accessories and I have already featured this guy in my videos loads of times but I guess he followed up from his delivery to tweet and he says all right update i have no idea what's going on with the qa team but they allowed this item and not allowed my items so basically 4sby also made some ticket stuff but roblox didn't allow it let's take a look at it anyway so here are some preview images and honestly these ones look a lot better than the ticks head but he said just some small sneak peeks of what's coming today or tomorrow join my ugc discord and you can see more of them i guess we'll do that in a second here's his discord you guys are welcome to join if you want to and yeah he basically spent quite a lot of time making his tickets accessories, Robux accessories, Roblox logo things. But when he submitted them for the Roblox QA team to basically, you know, put on the UGC accessories section, all of these items got denied. We don't really know why. We don't know why the text head was allowed, but none of this stuff was. Very, very strange, honestly. It could be something to do with the texture. I really don't know. Maybe because 4SBY's texture is more 8 bits, like the 2016 items, right? And the text head by Main Apparel is more like a text logo you'd find on Google Images. Images. But honestly guys, I'm not really sure. Very strange. It's honestly so strange how inconsistent Roblox are when it comes to moderating UGC stuff. You could literally get two UGC creators, they could both upload one item, they could literally be very similar, and so there's a chance one of them would get denied and one of them would get allowed. It's such a mess. Anyway, he also said, well guys, we're all disappointed about the Robux and Tick situation, but let's move on. Here's a new UGC wave with two items that were approved. So it looks like some glasses of the classic Roblox logo. And yeah, I say classic because you know there's a new one coming out soon. It looks so strange. So yep, if you guys want some Roblox O logo eyes or glasses, then go and pick up these. Only 40 Robux each. They're pretty cheap. And I literally just found this item as well. Metaphones. Oh god, that sounds cringy. But yeah, they do look pretty cool. Again, it's like the Roblox O logo. So now people are able to upload the Roblox logo and tickets items, but then not all people can upload tickets items. I don't know. This situation is so confusing, guys. So there we have a guys, Tix items are kind of back, I guess. I just realized that the Tix logo on the head is the same one I have on my avatar shirt. Like I was saying earlier, I don't think Roblox will delete this. However, I'm not really 100% sure. So just keep that in mind, guys. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.